Hey guys, so um, for this video, um, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, I want to do a VPN video again. Um, I did make a video showcasing how to make a VPN of your own service through Proxmox using OpenVPN. Um, that was kind of a lengthy video and kind of a detailed video. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you a very quick and easy way to showcase your own VPN and to create your own VPN through Proxmox. This VPN service is going to be something called WireGuard. So let's hop over to the computer and I'll show you what to do. Okay, so now that we're over here on the desktop, I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to be doing in order to set up a WireGuard VPN on your home server. So first things first, I want to show you the website. iVPN.io is going to be the website that we're going to use. It's just one simple curl command right here. Um, this curl command you'll be able to input just in the terminal. It's literally just one simple line and it will do all the work for you. So let's go ahead and hop over to our Proxmox server and I will show you what to do from here. So once in Proxmox, you're just going to go ahead and you're going to create a new container. For the new container, you can choose to name it whatever you like. For this purpose, I'm just going to put YouTube test. Go ahead and create a password. And for the template, we're going to use um, Ubuntu 18.04 standard. Um, so far, I have learned that it doesn't really work with Ubuntu 20.04 and it has a difficult time with 21.10. So I would just stick with 18.04 for now. You can go ahead and leave everything at the default. And when it comes to network, go ahead and set DHCP. And for now, we're going to go ahead and leave this unchecked. Um, this is going to be kind of the same process as what we did with OpenVPN. So we'll just go ahead and hit finish. All right, so now that that is finished, what we're going to do is we're going to close out of there. We're going to go into our Proxmox node, open up the shell. And from here, you're going to go ahead and do this first line, which is the CD ETC forward slash PVE forward slash LXC. Go ahead and do an LS right here. These are the list of containers. So you can see that the container I just created YouTube best is 107. So we're going to go ahead and do a nano 107. And here we're going to go ahead and add two lines. So we're going to go ahead and add these lines in here. Now remember, um, don't worry about inputting commands as I go. Um, I will put all the commands listed down below for you. And we will just go ahead and run one command. And that's all we need to do. So now that that command has been ran, all you want to do now is go ahead and click on your container and go ahead and start it up. All right, so now once the container is started up, you're going to go ahead and log in. We are going to go ahead and make sure that the container is up to date. So we're going to go ahead and run a sudo app update, string together the sudo apt upgrade. I'm going to throw in the dash Y just to say that we're going to auto configure it the yes command to where we don't have to hit yes or no. Go ahead and press enter and let that run. All right, so now that your container is all up to date, what we're going to do from here is we're actually going to go ahead and run a sudo apt install just to make sure that curl is installed. So we're going to do a sudo apt install curl dash y and go ahead and let that install just to make sure that it's on this container. Okay, so now that curl is installed, I'm going to go ahead and clear my terminal. And it's pretty much as simple as traveling over to pyvpn.io and copying this curl command right here. So you're just going to go ahead and copy that travel back over to Proxmox, go ahead and paste that in and press enter. That was easy. Okay, so 
first step you're going to see is you're going to see this prompt that says this installer will transform your Raspberry Pi into OpenVPN or WireGuard. So we're going to go ahead and press OK. Go ahead and press OK. And right here it says do you want to force routing IPv6 to block the leakage. Uh, you can go ahead and press no. Right here um, it says since we think you're using a Raspberry Pi OS, we will not configure a static IP for you. Go ahead and press OK. And it says choose a local user that will hold your own uh, your OVPN configurations. Press OK. Now for this one, it wants a non-root user. Um, so what you're going to want to do is create a username. So for this, I'm just going to go ahead and we're just going to call this WireGuard. And enter in a password. All right. So go ahead and press enter right here. And now this is where it says WireGuard is a new kind of VPN. So um, right here, we're going to choose the VPN. You can either do WireGuard or OpenVPN. But for this demo, we're going to do WireGuard. Go ahead and press Enter and let this install. OK, so right here, um, it's showing the default WireGuard port. Um, so right here, you can change it to whatever you prefer. Or you can just leave it at 51820. Um, but for the dip for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at 51820, but I would highly recommend changing this. Go ahead and press yes. Okay, and right here, um, this is just saying for the DNS provider, the first option is perfectly fine, or you can choose whichever you prefer. I'm just going to go ahead and press enter. And this is where it's going to show your public IP. So right here, we're just going to go ahead and make sure that's our public IP and go ahead and press enter. And it says the server keys will now be generated. Go ahead and press OK. And one last time, press OK. So for this purpose right here, it says enable unattended upgrades for security patches. Um, you can go ahead and press yes to this. Now the installation has been completed and I'm going to show you how to basically run through and go ahead and do everything you need to. So it's asking, it strongly recommends for a reboot. We're going to go ahead and press yes for the reboot and go ahead and let the system reboot and I'm going to show you how to configure your VPN. So excited! So excited! Okay, so now that your system is all rebooted from here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to just type in the root. Go ahead and put in your password. From here, we're going to go ahead and clear this for you. And it's as simple as running a pyvpn command. So just type pyvpn, press enter. Now you can see all the list of everything that pyvpn can do. Um, dash A for adding new clients, dash C for the clients, dash L for the listing of the clients. Um, there's a lot of really cool and simple things you can do with this compared to OpenVPN. So I'm actually going to show you right now how easy it is to create a new client for your cell phone and how to connect it to your personal cell phone very quickly. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and we're going to type in pyvpn dash a to create a new client for the name of the client right here we're just going to go ahead and put phone press enter so after that the phone.config file has been created so now the cool part about this is this is what's really simple about it is you can just type in pi vpn dash qr press enter and it's going to ask you which one you want to show the qr code for you can just press number one and press enter and this QR code, all you have to do is scan this with your cell phone in the WireGuard app on your phone, and it is connected as simply as just scanning a QR code. So I'm going to hop over to my cell phone real fast, and I'm going to show you exactly how we do that. Okay, so as you can see here, we are on my cell phone. All I have to do is travel over to the WireGuard app. Once the WireGuard app is open, I can press the plus sign in the corner. And we could just go to create from a QR code. Now this is going to open up your cell phone camera and you just point it at the QR code. And it's going to say, please name the scan tunnel. So we're going to go ahead and name this home. And press save. And there you go. All you have to do is toggle it on. And you are now connected to the VPN. It's as simple as that. So now that we have showed um, how to connect it with a cell phone, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to connect it onto your laptop or onto a computer. So kind of the same method. We're going to go ahead and do a pyvpn-a. 
we're going to go ahead and name this one computer. Alrighty. And now you can see here, if you go ahead and do a pi VPN dash L, you can see here we have phone and computer. So what we're going to do from here is we are actually going to travel over to the internet and you're going to type in WireGuard. WireGuard download. We're going to click on this first link right here. And this is WireGuard installation. So you're going to go ahead and install it to whichever your service you have. So whether it be Windows, Mac OS, Ubuntu, Android, iOS, um, all of these are supported. It has a large number of supported softwares. So for the case, we're going to click on download Windows installer right here and you're going to download the Windows installer. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate how you're going to connect your VPN to the WireGuard application on the Windows computer. So from here, what you're going to do is once you create your user, you're going to do pyvpn-a. We're going to go ahead and name this computer. Now, once it's created, you can actually see here that it says that the computer.config file was copied to this location right here. So if you want to, you can just go ahead and copy that and just do a CD and paste that in. Now, once here, you can do an LS and you can actually see the computer config file. So all you're going to want to do is do cat computer config, press enter. And once here, you're going to go ahead and copy all of this. Go ahead and copy it. Open up your text editor. So what I open is Notepad. Once Notepad is open, you're going to go ahead and paste all that information in. Do a file, save as, put in the location you like, do all files, and you can just name this computer.conf, and that's pretty much all you have to do. Okay, so now you can go into WireGuard. Once in WireGuard, you can click on Add Tunnel, double click on computer.config, and there you have it. Now all you have to do is press the activate button and it will prompt you saying that WireGuard is now activated. So there you go. That's as simple as it is, is to activate WireGuard on your computer and on your cell phone. And that's pretty much how to do it. Good morning, everybody. So um, it's bright and early. It's 7.49 AM. Um, I'm at my local Starbucks which I guess you could say it's local. I'm about 46 miles from my house and I thought that this would be the perfect opportunity to demonstrate exactly how I connect my VPN to my computer and I use my VPN to access all of my services at home. Uh, pretty much something I just showed a little bit earlier in this video. So I'm gonna show you a real life example on how I use it day to day. Alrighty, so we are now inside of the Starbucks and we have the computer up and loaded. So what I usually do to start off with is connect to the internet. So I'm going to connect to the Starbucks Wi-Fi. Okay, so now that we are officially connected to the Starbucks Wi-Fi on the internet, you can see here we are on Starbucks Wi-Fi. The next thing I want to do is demonstrate how I cannot connect to my Proxmox server from here. So this is my IP address of my Proxmox server. Uh, you can see here that um, I did try to load it up and you can see here it just says waiting on Google. It's not loading whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to go ahead and open up WireGuard. Now with WireGuard activated right here, I'm just going to click on activate, which I already have this all set up. So I'm going to click on activate. There you go. So now you have a notification pop up right here. You can see I'm activated and you can actually see right here in the background that it has automatically connected to my Proxmox server. So I am now on the Starbucks Wi-Fi still, but I am using a VPN tunnel to connect into my home network. So now if I log in, you can see all of my services from here. So again, I just want to thank everybody for watching and remember to like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.